January 1963. As knitted jumpers flutter in New Jersey, a high-ranking British intelligence officer defects to the Soviet Union. Rock and roll was not the only thing on young Westerners' minds. My name is Radu Spore. I'm a scientist and an engineer. I grew up in Romania in the final years of the Cold War. And for a very long time, it seemed to me that this war was completely imbalanced. On the one hand, the West had all the technology and all the wealth and all the shiny gadgets, while the East had poverty and utter disregard for health and safety and appalling working conditions. To compensate for the lack of resources, people had to be ingenious about how they solved problems. And a culture of DIY, make do and mend pervaded the whole of the Eastern Bloc. But rather than telling you about it, I'd rather show you. This weird looking contraption is my first computer. It was built by one of my father's friends in his kitchen in a block of flats much like this one, which looked as grey and as drab then, but it lacked air conditioning. Now you could buy clones of the BBC Micro or the uh, Sinclair Spectrum, but it would be a lot cheaper to make it yourself. And of course by making it yourself I don't mean assembling as we do nowadays, but rather soldering it piece by piece. Now this computer is one of a kind. It uses a standard case, but because the keyboard is custom built and the components are Russian rather than British, it had to have this custom wooden rim fitted because it simply wouldn't fit otherwise. And at the back is the same story. They had to machine this aluminium piece to nicely fit around all the edges. Now it doesn't look like much, but for me it was the start of my computing journey. And more importantly, it represents the essence of the attitude to improvising and solving problems in the East. Now imagine what it means when this is applied by whole countries. In this series I'm going to be searching for the Soviet science and technology which have silently shaped the modern West. This is not going to be a tale of political might, of spies and daring deeds rather one of dazzling intellect, inspired engineering and unforeseen consequences. What I hope to find is the hidden genius behind the Iron Curtain.